Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning into Van's podcast, Raw and Unfiltered, Episode 5. My guest this week is a rising New Jersey recording artist, Montclair student, and cancer survivor. My special guest, Dollary. Today's episode is sponsored by Mike's Helpful Hands, LLC, 267-905-0946 for all appliance repairs, water heaters, garbage disposals, faucets, and much more. Reach out to Mike at 267-905-0946. Back to the podcast. My special guest is Dollary, a recording artist out of Montclair University. Welcome to the podcast, Dollary. Thank you for hosting me at your studio, this awesome North Jersey Palace. Yes, sir, man. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate you taking the time to, you know, come out, get to know me more, and, you know, just be able to, you know, talk about my story and stuff like that. So, you know, as much love it goes a lot deeper than just music, family, as Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. So thank Absolutely. you, Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for hosting at this wonderful North Jersey <laughs> Home studio, but uh, how's Montclair treating you since uh, you're on spring break this week? Uh, it's good, man. Definitely, you know, great people there. It's a great environment. Um, there definitely it's pros and cons, certain things here and there. But I would say for the most part, it's been a great experience. And the program I'm going for is exactly what I need to do within this music and uh, my career. So I'm definitely enjoying it. So I don't, I don't got too many complaints. For those that don't know you, that are just tuning in to. Get to know you here in North Jersey. How long have you been doing music as an indie recording artist? So I've been doing it since, uh, I, I mean, it, that ranges, right? So I've been doing it, uh, writing my thoughts and poetry since about, I'll say about fifth fifth grade. I'll say a little bit after fourth grade, I started writing poetry and stuff. And then I started recording music around sixth, seventh grade. And then I've been, you know, I've been doing it currently, and I'm a junior now in college. So sometimes I can't give you the exact years and dates like that, but I could tell you, you know, that right there. <laughs> it's really great to format that using um, school years. Right. I respect that because I can tell that a lot of your creativity was coming out at that time mm -hmm. during school. Mm -hmm. Because then during the summertime, you would get to showcase it for all of us at all the barbecues. Mm -hmm. Um, for those that haven't been to those backyard parties, what platforms can they currently listen to your newest release, Massanutten Files? Um, they can listen to it on platforms. We're on Spotify, Apple Music. We're on YouTube. T uh, what is it? Tiz uh, Tittle, Teaser, Amazon Music. We're on everything. So if you type in Dollarie, D-O-L-L-E-R-I-E, and then you just type that in, it's going to come up. But if you want the certain album name, you know, you can follow it by Mass Nettle Files or Far From a Grave or Starborn Legend. We're uh we're three albums in now since uh I made it out of my battle with cancer. So God's continuing to bless me in this world and we're just gonna keep it pushing. Amen, bro. Amen. Sure. What's your current studio's name? I forgot their name uh during the intro. So why don't you go ahead and let them know about that amazing platinum <laughs> studio yep. that i got to yep. do a little surprise yep. birthday party uh -huh. for you that was, <laughs> Yo, that was a sick. lot of fun great food great vibes yes sir um so i'm currently working out of so amazing studios owned and ran by shaw bugs um who is you know he's a big big manager multi-platinum recording all his billboard charting uh i mean multi-platinum producer billboard charting producer who's you know managing a lot of your favorite artists in new jersey to this day and he works with a lot of big artists and stuff like that um, but he's just one of my big, big mentors in the game right now. And yeah, he's just really helping me learn the the, um, the cons before I have to go through them myself. And he's making sure I stay out the way of, you know, the BS that can be in the industry. But yeah, So Maze Recording Studios in Clifton, New Jersey. That's my home right now. I love it over there. That's awesome. And that was where the new project came out of? Uh, new project uh, New project came out of... So I made it while I was in Mass and Nothing. That's why it's called Mass and Nothing Files. I Correct. went there for... Uh, seven days. I brought my studio, and every song that the, you hear was the, made. The there. Mountain album. The Mountain album, exactly. Yeah. And it was made out I there. I respect it. I respect it. And the then I, I mixed it, it though. I mixed it at you know so amazing. So I did have some mixing using their speakers and stuff, but okay. the, all the software that was recorded on was my personal laptop with my you know plugins and big, stuff like that. Big indie love there. I like. Yeah, hundred percent. But don't get it wrong. I do have some stuff coming out of so amazing studios for absolutely, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. For sure. All right, so I appreciate that very much. Those were some really, really 
awesome cookie cutter questions. How has cannabis blessed you in your life, Dollary? Um, uh, cannabis, so, you know, it's a love-hate relationship for sure. But uh, it's definitely blessed me because after I went through my treatment, um, I definitely dealt with a lot of uh, nerve pain. Um, you know, I had cancer in my left leg. Due to my cancer, I went ahead and had, uh, you know, multiple surgeries and stuff like that, bone allografts and different types of surgeries that to this day, you know, I still feel, you know, the uh, repercussions of them. I have titanium plates in my left leg and I have titanium plates in my right leg. And when it rains, I feel it. When um, when it's a, you know, a bad weather coming, I feel it. When I wake up on the wrong side, I feel it. So when I started to, you know, indulge a little bit here and there in some cannabis, I noticed that my body would respond really well to it. I noticed that it would just relax my nerves, you know, but I also don't want to fall into that trap of always needing it. So I make sure I, you know, I do my little tea break, stuff like that here and there. But Thank you. at Thank the you. end of the day, you know, it does definitely help. And I will stand there and, and tell you that it does help my body since recovering from what I went through. Absolutely. And uh, I'm so blessed to hear that. I'm so blessed to be here in the studio with you guys. Uh, you actually segued right into the next question for the listeners. Dollary actually blessed me at the <laughs> pre-intro coffee. Let's talk course, about bro. the tea break. Let's do yeah. that. What is a tea break for you? Because you're a young, creative man, and I'm just watching so many amazing projects come out. So tell me what your process is for a tea break. So a tea break for me is basically just detox. It's just detoxing your body from, you know, the, the potence of weed. You know, it's not to say weed is potent, but it is strong. So when you're doing it every day or, you know, you're doing a little too much, Sometimes, you know, you could get caught in a haze, you know, you wake up the next day, you're still feeling it. And then if you keep smoking, you're just always going to be in that haze. So for me, a tea break just allows me to come back to myself, ground myself. And what it forces me to do is build my relationship with not only God, but build a spiritual relationship with myself where I have to now meditate. You know, I have to, you know, go to church and just ground myself because I can't rely on the weed. And what that also helps me do is it helps me realize, yo, this is a whole project I could do. This is a whole type of sound I could do. So it gives me clarity and it allows me to realize at the end of the day, yes, it's a, it's a it's fun to use here and there, but you also got to use it as a tool. You can't abuse a tool, right? You got to implement it in certain ways. So it definitely helps me also flush out my body. Um, one thing I'll tell you is as a cancer survivor, I'm always overthinking and I'm always thinking it's the worst. So the minute my lung hurts or the minute I cough a little too much, you start it, blaming yeah, it can't yeah. be just a normal cold. It has to be, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, stage, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah. it's sad, but yeah. that's kind of how my mind is. So the tea break also allows me to know, you know, you're healthy. You know, you're, you're doing the steps you need to to stay healthy so that when I maybe go back or not, I'm not overthinking again. And, you know, because that, that destroys your mind. gives you the ability to recognize that your body does have anxieties in right. other fields. Um just like you said, collectively, if you decide to return, there's so right. many other, there's the alternatives, there's mm -hmm. low dose THC and bringing yourself to that tea break at such a young age is, is an amazing concept yes, for sir. all of our listeners out there. Um, we are pro cannabis and being pro cannabis is also being pro tea breaks mm -hmm. for everybody because we all need a helping hand, yes. which is why today's sponsor is Mike's Helpful Hands LLC. Mike is an amazing can of friendly sponsor. 267-905-0946 for all appliance repairs, water heaters, garbage disposals, faucets, and much, much more. Mike's Helpful Hands is available around the clock. 267-905-0946 serving New Jersey. Back to big shout out to Mike, man. Big shout out to Mike. Um, you did get to meet Mike. He was actually at the event? your performance, yeah, yeah in Word. December. Yeah, yeah. So yes, sir. Um, Mike's great. Mike's great. I actually just put good that dude. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I dude. did. I For was sure. like, oh, I think I remember. I think oh I might shit! Remember. Yeah. So. Um, I'm so fucking proud and respect you and Justin for the tea break. Shout Thank out to man. Big Justin in the studio. Yes, sir, my guy. Um, <laughs> how has the shift from doing high school shows to doing college shows been for you? Um, so it's definitely more professional, right? The college shows, you know, it's a little bit harder to impact the crowd. So you can't just go into it thinking, oh, I got a show tomorrow, let's do it. 
where with the high school shows, you kind of could because the high school shows, you know, they're just happy to see a performance. They don't get that a lot in high school, like especially not, you know, performance like hours at the time. So uh, it was definitely easier to go into it where now the shows I'm doing now, like I take my time planning them. I do rehearsals with the team. And uh, actually currently, right now, as the date of this dropping, we actually took a little break from the shows because all I'm going to say is we're planning a little something. And in order to make the shows better, you sometimes need to plan it better. But just know we're just getting started with the shows. But one thing I will say about the college shows is the energy. I love it, man, because it's more uh, mature. So the music now that we're doing, we don't necessarily have to censor our music. We don't necessarily have to come in like, oh, this, that, the third. You could just come in, have a lot of energy, and th that's what people want at these college shows. So yeah, it's unfiltered. 100%. So definitely uh, would say that the difference is more of the maturity level. But I, I really do enjoy doing college shows because you really get to see so many different backgrounds and the uh, words that people say to you after. I met, I met a lot of great people through, through doing different shows in the area, college shows in general, and the people you meet are a lot of times on the same exact mindset you're on because they're your age and they're interested in something that I truly love, which is music. So I'll admit that, yeah, that's definitely one of the things I'll admit that's different between the two. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? Dang. You ain't tell me you going to ask me that. I know. I didn't tell you any of the questions. Dang. Favorite food? That's a hard one, man, I but know. I'm going to go. I told Justin the same thing. Why would I um, Why would I go into a podcast? <laughs> okay, you know what? My favorite food? Telling you the, the questions. It wouldn't be raw and unfiltered if, That's I, facts. if I sent you the You're questions. Right. Okay, so. Valerie was actually supposed to come to my studio. Yes. Yes, I weather was. Weather and uh, things. There's uh, yep. some grand openings happening all over Jersey, so. We made it happen. Big things Dover. coming up. That's what I'm going to say. It was only raining in Dover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It was laughs> Yo. Really strange. But um, I'll say my favorite food, you know, may our soul rest in peace, but oh, okay. my abuela's yeah. Spanish rice, yeah, arroz con nobody, dulles. arroz con yeah. dulles, nobody is touching it's it. It's good. That's it's my good. favorite food. Unfortunately, I'll it's never have it's her good. version it's again, good. but my aunties have yeah. recreated. I mean, that's your favorite. So, yeah, you know. Definitely, definitely. That's a, that's a very high crown to ever get to. Uh, who's your favorite football team? Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Not even yeah. a question. Yeah, I know. Go Cowboys. I just kind of just want to self-plug yeah. that again. Self-plug it, man. <laughs> um, Dallas Cowboys oh, man. is my favorite team. I was born into the, the family of being yeah. a Cowboys fan, and I'll never want to leave. I'll never yeah. jump ships. We are terrible. And they're just, they're just, they're, they're the team. We, we, are we just, suck. We are the and worst. And there's so oh, many years of, of devastation, but one thing I'll tell you that, that's beautiful about Cowboys fans is no matter how bad we do, we get together, yo, we get and together, dress the best. Yo, and we always gonna have good cookouts, <laughs> good yeah, chicken, good we food. We show the fuck out. We do, yeah. and that's why people hate it because yeah. we just will always talk our crap yeah. because at the end of the day, we do have five rings. So even if I didn't see those five rings, I know. we got the yeah. five rings. Oh, so. oh, oh, I got to be there. <laughs> Yeah, well, I got, I got to be you. in front of the TV. I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't Trust there. Me on I that. legit wasn't anywhere. That was so. that was an expensive time to be around. <laughs> Thanks again for the interview and hosting me at your beautiful of course, studio man. up in North Jersey. Shout out to Justin for the inspiration. Yes, sir. Who do you want to shout out, Dollary? Um, I want to shout out bit two big people. My mother, and my father. They've really impacted me in this journey going on. Um, my father, he's never left my side. He's been my biggest advocate within not only music, just but in accomplishing any of my dreams and goals. So big shout out to my father, Maitland Muse. That's my guy. Um, and then I want to do a big shout out to my mother as well. You know, my mother's always been my, my supportive role model there right by me as well. Always there for me. And I love my mother. Shout out um, Marilyn Muse. That's my mom. And, uh, you know, I want to shout out my boys too. Gas Rangers Entertainment, which is a collective with my brother, Jay Tavo. My brother, Just Ojo, my brother, Love Peso, and my brother, Young Capital. Um, we actually have a new member that's kind of incorporating himself right now. His name is Justin. Justin, uh, I'm not going to, you know, say too much on his name because he hasn't really identified his full, you know, artist name yet. But he's really been a big asset in helping us. And, um, you know, big shout out to him and just coming in and being a good imp impact and role model. And another big shout out I want to do is uh, Soul Amazing Studios, man, and everyone there. So Shy Bug, Says Beach, Chinny. Um, Flav, there, there's a bunch of names I could say, but oh, and Fetty Wap, you know what I'm saying? Like, they have just come in and totally helped me take my career to a level where I've never thought I could be at. So, so you know, big shout out to them and, and much love to all of them without that. And my cousin Ivan, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Because this guy right here has never one time 
uh, doubted me and he's never one time made me think I can't do this. So yeah, I, you know, I love thank you, you cuz real talk. I can't wait to see you shine brighter, man. Yes, That's sir. The beginning thank of you the for year. being there for me. But oh, definitely. and my sisters too. Yeah. Cause if I don't say that, you know what I'm saying? My sisters too. I love y'all. Taylor Mia. Yeah. That's my and my brother Jaren and my brother Ryan. Love y'all, bro. Family, everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into this special episode of Vans Podcast episode. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Mike's Helpful Hands, LLC. Also, professional drone photography, wedding, real estate, photogrammetry. That's Mike's Helpful Hands, 267-905-0946. I'd like to thank my special guest, Ollery, and all of my viewers.